Hi, Miss Shop here again. Got my hair up, safety glasses on, sleeves rolled up. We're gonna do some more kitchen chemistry. So today we're gonna to talk about two types of um, uh, chemical reactions, endothermic and exothermic reactions. Um, what This is when we detect a temperature change and we know that a chemical reaction is happening. So over here is exothermic reaction. What happens is it releases heat, the temperature goes up, and um, it gets hotter. So a great example of this are things like uh, hand warmers and these hot patches that you put on when you have like a strained muscle. So I took the temperature a half hour ago of this because it takes about a half hour to warm up and it was 22 degrees Celsius. So now I'm gonna take the temperature again. I'm gonna place it in here. You can see it was at 22, that's room temperature, but we're gonna watch the temperature go up. Okay, it should go, it should be going up. <laughs> Going up, 24, 25. All right, well, it had been up to 32. I'm not sure why it's cooling down, if it's because it's on this cold countertop, but it was at 32 before. So, all right, we'll move on to our next uh, experiment. Yep, going up a little bit, 26 now. All right, well, we'll move on to our next experiment. We don't want this video to be too long. All right, so over here, we're gonna demonstrate an endothermic reaction. Now, as you remember, endothermic heat is uh, absorbed and you're gonna notice it gets colder. So this is a vinegar and baking soda reaction again. And let's see what our starting temperature, 22 again. That's just like the room temperature and I'm gonna add in some baking soda and you watch what happens to the temperature. Wait for it, it's down to 21, 19. Can we pan down to the bubbles? <laughs> we also know our reaction's happening because it's bubbling, but the thing you didn't know when we did this yesterday was the temperature also went down. If we felt the glass, you could feel that it feels much colder. It's gone down to 16 degrees now. It started at 22 and went to 16 degrees. So there's a few more little reactions I just want to show you, but I won't take the temperature. We'll pan over here to some everyday products. So when you have an upset stomach, you can use something called Alka-Seltzer. And this too, watch what happens. Two things, bubbling and the temperature will go down in this glass. Although it's not a large temperature drop, it's only a couple degrees, so I'm not gonna bother sticking the thermometer in. And for our last reaction, we can come look over here. I take this product emergency when we used to be in school and it helps me keep my immune system going, uh, strengthened anyway. And you'll notice that it bubbles too. See it at the top here? So one for your upset stomach, one for your little extra vitamins and immune boosting. And that's it for kitchen chemistry today, kids. Bye-bye.